integrals okay so i want to find the done value force so this is one of the application of line integrals and are given the vector field of the force and are given the path that the force took from 0 0 to 2 1 to 3 2 then back to 0 0 okay so before doing anything we have to make sure that this vector field is not conservative so if, if the vector field is conservative what means the work done will be equal to self right but see this vector field is not conservative so there's no need to calculate its scale right because already know that so we're going to use the direct method again okay. another thing you can use you can also use stocks or in theorem that you want which help you to evaluate line integrals okay so i have another video a 40 minute full lecture video you can check it on the description on the description below just see it is line integral and i think after watching that video this video will be easy for you so in this one what i'm going to do i'm going to use parametric equation but before doing anything let us first sketch the path that we want to work with okay so since it's just a simple xy plane this is the y and this is the x plane so the force initially the part of the force is from 0 0 to 2 1 okay i'm going to say let's my 2 1 be equal to here okay this one b1 and from there it goes to 3 to 3 4 okay so i'm going to just say for 3 4 is here okay okay like this so the force goes from here to here to here okay so i'm going to call this line c1 c2 and c3 okay. work done is given by the integral of f to r right so that is the total but we know that this this c closed path is some segment so it's going to be c1 f to r plus c2 f to r plus the last segment which is c3 f to r okay so now we're going to take a closer look at c1 we're going to work with c1 only okay so for c1 it's from 0 0 to 2 1 okay so the equation of this line so when y equals to 1 x equals to 2 so the equation of this line is y is equals to x over 2 okay that, that if you don't know how to find the equation of a line you can just use the word method 2 minus find the gradient and use the equation y equals to mx plus c right okay so now i want to parameterize my variables i want x to be equal to t and that means that y will be equal to t over 2 okay so now if i differentiate here dx will be equal to dt and dy will be equal to dt over 2 okay but since i say that x equals to t and y f it makes be equal to t that means now t ranges from this point the origin to 2 so t ranges from 0 to 2 okay so now let's find let us write our parameterize back to the equation so rt for x is t for y or the i component the j component is t over 2 and let's differentiate it to find r prime of t and if we do that we're going to get 1 and 1 half here okay so let's look at our vector field v and want to parameterize it so for x we said our x is t for y y is t over 2 and f minus 1 and we're going to multiply that by y which is t over 2 let's go to the, to the j component x is t x again is t y is t over 2 we're going to f plus 1 here okay and to evaluate okay first let's start by just simplifying this so we're going to have t times t times t that is t cubed 2 times 2 that will give us 4 minus t over 2 okay and here it's going to t times t it's going to be t cubed over 2 okay plus t okay so to evaluate this integral
going to integrate work done is goes to from zero to two the range of t f t times r prime t dt so it's going to be from zero to two and for vt actually this was supposed to be vt okay we can let it be f was just a vector field okay then we have t cubed over 4 minus t over 2 and we have t cubed over 2 plus t i'm going to multiply it by 1 and 1 half dt okay so let's integrate it let's simplify it t to the power 3 over 4 minus t over 2 plus t cubed over 4 plus t over 2 dt and we're going to integrate this so this one and this one goes away this one and this one this will become t plus t 2t over 4 2t cubed over 4 so i'm going to add the power okay let me just write this t cubed over over 2 right dt and now i can say t to the power 4 over 4 times 2 from 0 to 2 and we're going to say upper bound minus lower bound and t to the power 4 i think that will give us 16 and i'm going to say 16 divided by 8 that is going to give us 2 okay so if my calculations are correct here i'm going to move to c2 okay so c2 is from 2 1 to 3 4 and for this one i'm going to find the gradient first so the gradient of this line is going to be i'm going to say 4 minus 1 divided by 3 minus 2 right and i'm going to have 3 and i'm going to use y minus y1 i want my y1 to be 1 i'm going to say the gradient m 3 times x minus x1 that's going to give us 2 and my y is going to become 3x and i'm going to have plus 1 here so it's going to be 6 minus 6 plus 1 and i think that is going to give us minus 5 all right okay and now i'm going to parameterize my equation again so by parameterizing my equation i want my x to be equal to t and my y will become 3t minus 5 okay and that means the range of t now ranges from 2 to 3 our parameterized vector equation is going to be x for x we have t for y it's going to be 3t minus 5 okay and now let's go to our parameterized vector field for the force so vt is going to be for x okay let's start we have y here Okay, so we have y here. I'm going to write it 3t minus 5 for y. And it's going to multiply x, which is t, y is 3t minus 5 minus 1. I'm going to put some other bracket. Let's go to here. We have x, which is t. And I'm going to have x again, which is t. 3t minus 5. And f plus 1. Okay. And we are going to simplify here. We are going to have t, 3t minus 5 squared here. Okay, minus 3t. Okay, minus 3t plus 5, right? Negative 3t plus 5. And what about here? We're going to have t squared. 3t minus 5 plus t and what is going to be the integral from 2 to 3 vt is t 3t minus 5 squared minus 3t plus 5 we're going to have t squared 3t minus 5 plus t Let's go to RT. 
okay i think here yeah, this was supposed to be rt t yeah. then the r prime of t was supposed to be one and let's differentiate this one and the three so it's one and three dt okay and we're going to simplify this so the same time i'm not going to do some old level removal of brackets i'm going to just write what the answer that, that we get because if i want to simplify it this video will be maybe three hours long right so i'm going to write the simplified okay so if we simplify it we're going to get 18 t cubed minus 45 t squared plus 25 t plus 5 t you can cross check with mine right these are numbers okay so let's integrate it so here we're going to have 18 t to the power 4 divided by 4 minus 45 t to the power 3 divided by 3 plus 25 t squared over 2 plus 5 t from 2 to 3 the upper bound minus lower bound so it's going to be 18 3 to the power 4 over 4 minus 45 3 to the power 3 over 3 plus 25 3 to the power 2 over 2 plus 5 times 3 and i'm going to start this by 18 2 to the power 4 over 4 plus 45 times 3 2 to the power 3 okay 45 plus 25 2 squared over 2 plus 5 times 2 okay if we take a calculator and simplify here i'm going to get 75 75 is going to be the answer right okay so for last part which is c3 so c3 is from 3 4 to 0 0 okay and the equation of this line so for here you know that this is 4 right okay so when x equals to 3 y equals to 4 so y is equals to 4 over 3x that is the equation of this line right when y equals when x equals to 3 y equals to 4 okay using parametric equations again x is equal to t y equals to 4 over 3 t and x which is t right now ranges from ranges from 3 to 0 okay so this is the upper this is the lower bound to the upper bound okay and dx is equals to dt as you can see and dy is equal to 4 over 3 dt okay i may not need to write this one if you don't want to write this okay now our parameterized equation is x plus y for the a component we have t for the g component 4 over 3 t okay and the if we define this respect to t what are going to have to have 1 plus 4 over 3 right okay it's not going to be 4 over 3 there's a comma here we're going to have dt here and now for v of t v of t x let's start with y y with the 4 over 3 t and x is t y 4 over 3 t minus 1 right here i hope you can see it Let's go to the i component, the j component, which is x, which is t, x, t again, 4 over 3, t, plus 1. Now let's simplify here. Okay, t times t times t, t cubed, 4 times 4, that's going to give us 16 divided by 3, times 3, minus 4, t over 3. <laughs> okay, now let's move here, this one. T times T times T is going to give us 4T cubed. 
center field for C3. F to R is going to be from 3 to 0. Okay, I've said this one is where we're coming from and this one is where we're going. So where we're coming from is the lower point. Where we're going is the upper bound. Okay, or the upper point. Now, we have V, which is 16 over 9 T cubed minus 4 T over 3. And we have 4 T cubed over 3 plus T. Okay, and as I told you before, you have to check the calculations here. So, and what do we have? For r prime of t, we have 1 and 4 over 3 dt. Okay, and if we simplify what we're going to have from 0 to 3, it's going to be 16 over 9 t cubed minus 4 over 3 t plus 16 over 9 t cubed plus this one's going to t times 3. t times 4 over 3 is going to be 4 over 3. t. 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 This one goes away with this one. We're going to have 2 times 16. And that is going to give us 32 over 9. t cubed from 0 to 3. We're going to have 32 t to the power 4 divided by 9 times 4. 0. Okay, it's from 3 to 0. If you evaluate here, 32 times 0, we're going to have 0 minus we're going to have 32 times 3 to the power 4 divided by 36 okay and if you say 3 to the power 4 times 32 divided by 36 and we get negative 72 if my calculations are correct and now to find the total work done right total work is going to be c1 fdr c2 fdr c3 fdr